Hello everyone, it's Tarek from MTS Consulting Engineers and today I'll be giving you some information about uh, what's an easement and uh, how you can build over or adjust into an easement. Uh, the legal definition of an easement is uh, the right to cross or otherwise use a portion of somebody else's land. So basically, the council has used a portion of your land to provide essential services to other properties um, such as water or electricity. Now, how does it impact you? Say, for example, you're buying a land and you notice that there is an easement going across. Uh, so what are you going to do? Well, in most cases, the, and, and, uh, the councils wouldn't allow you to build over it, uh, but they would or they might allow you to build adjacent to it as long as the footings of the proposed development uh, does not have any negative impact uh, to the uh, easement. Now I'm going to show you how do we as an engineers uh, get around with it. Okay, so this is one of the projects uh, we recently completed. Uh, the client uh, wanted to demolish his existing house and wanted to build a double story brick veneer um, house. And, and as well as a secondary dwelling or a granny flat at the rear of the property uh, with a detached uh, garage or a workshop. Now, as it is indicated in the survey plan, um, you can see that there is an easement going across a sewer line uh, at the rear of the property. Um, and it's also indicated in the site analysis plan by the architect. Uh, the architect has uh, given one meter clearance as per the requirements of the local council or Sydney Water. Uh, so he has uh, given one meter clearance for any future maintenance. Uh, uh, so we carried out this design work. Um, the purpose behind this design was to protect the easement uh, from physical damage or any future damage and also providing adequate access for the workers for any future maintenance. Um, the house structure had to be designed um, as such that no loads are to be transferred from the structure to the sewer um, and the house structure shall be fully supported in the event of a structure failure and collapse of the sewer. Uh, because the soil over the pipes and the surrounding is not well compacted, therefore, as per the requirements of the guideline, we decided to give one meter clearance uh, and it drew an imaginary line extending upwards at an angle of 45 degrees to the ground surface, creating this envelope regarded, regarded as zone of influence. Uh, this will give the closest point of uh, just an over one meter offset. Uh, also, because this, the soil in this uh, lot uh, was classified as Class P, so the top of the footings and slab system we chose was a stiff and rough slab, along with some board piers. So, in conclusion, an easement is a designated area of the land that gives councils or other authorities access right through your property to maintain and install, replace, or have great essential services uh, services and infra infrastructure like drains, gas, pipes, and data cables. If you have an easement uh, on your property, it will be clearly marked uh, on the certif certificate of title. Um, and when you build over adjacent um, close, uh, close to or under easement, your work must not obstruct full and uh, free access to the easement, cause physical damage, and weaken the easement leading to future damage. Uh, the design of the footing uh, uh, must be uh, carried out uh, by a chartered professional engineer uh, with appropriate uh, expertise and experience. The engineer must also seek expert advice uh, such as geotechnical and other areas as required by the work. Okay, so it's all done now. Um, thank you very much for being with us. And if you like this uh, video, please um, do subscribe. And if you have any um, questions, uh, write in the comment uh, below section and uh, I'll try to answer most of your questions uh, uh, as soon as I can. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you in my next video. See ya. Bye.